Girls should always sleep with the curtains closed, especially if you have big windows, because every move you make will be watched by the person across the street. Mr. and Mrs. Lisa had just moved into their new home, because the previous owners loved the sun. All the windows in the house didn't have curtains, it made Lisa feel uncomfortable. Her husband said he'd put up the curtains another day, but on the first night, Lisa noticed something was wrong. In the middle of the night, it was pouring with rain. Lisa couldn't sleep and stared out the window. He could clearly see a man staring at them from the opposite building. What was even stranger was that he realized the curtains were never opened during the day, only at night. But he couldn't say anything because he wasn't disturbed. Until the third night, Lisa turned off the light and saw the person on the other floor staring at her again, and this time through a thin window screen, as if he didn't want Lisa to know he was watching. At that moment, her husband came home from work. He said he wanted to take him out for a big meal. But when they arrived downstairs, they found several police cars and ambulances in the neighborhood. The neighborhood was crowded with people. Looking at the man sitting next to the ambulance, Lisa felt a chill down her spine. The next day it was on the news. It turns out there was a murder across the street. It was said to be the work of a well-known serial killer with a hood. The killer preys on good-looking women. Lisa suspected that it had something to do with the man who was watching. She was very nervous. Her husband asked her if she was feeling ill. So she told him what she'd seen over the past two days. But her husband thought the man might have been just looking at the street. It doesn't mean he's the killer. But that didn't convince Lisa. So she checked the news. It turns out that last year, a woman escaped death. In the video, the woman describes the killer as wrapping a plastic bag around her from behind, and then quickly plunged a knife into her neck. The more Lisa listened, the more she felt uneasy. What if the killer really lives across the street? Could they be watching her at any time? When she went home, she couldn't stop thinking about what the woman had said in the interview, and she had the feeling that someone was following her. When the woman took a few steps, she had to look back, but she didn't see anything suspicious. In order to calm down, she went to the supermarket to shop, but then a man who looked like the man on the other side of the building appeared. Sensing something was wrong, she immediately moved to another place. But wherever a woman goes, a man follows. Lisa was shopping on the surface. But in fact, she is scanning the man out of the corner of her eye. She doesn't dare to look at him directly. In her panic, she accidentally broke a jar of pickled carrots. The woman hurriedly hid in the employee's warehouse, and the man followed her as she thought he would. It was as if he had eyes in his back, as if he knew Lisa was behind him. When she got home, she told her husband what had happened. In order to reassure his wife, the man decided to check the surveillance cameras at the supermarket. Based on Lisa's description of the man's clothes, they quickly identified the target. Listen. Lisa said the man had been staring at her, but her husband didn't see anything strange. He also said that the man on the monitor looked normal. Maybe he was looking at another woman and not you. Faced with her husband's lack of understanding, Lisa took a picture with her mobile phone and made a bold decision. The next day, when her husband left the house, she brought her breakfast. She sat by the window and ate while staring at the passersby on the other side of the building, trying to prove that the stalker was the man on the other floor. But she sat there until the evening and found nothing. Was she really overthinking it? At that moment, there was a sharp knock on the door. Lisa went over to the door trembling. She dared to open the door only to make sure it was just an old woman. She seemed to be in some kind of danger, but Lisa didn't understand the language. Luckily, she met a neighbor who had just come home. The neighbor said she was looking for her kitten. Then he invited Lisa over for a drink. The two of them were chatting like old friends who hadn't seen each other for years. The woman told her that this area was a bit dangerous. That's why she always kept a gun in her drawer. When she got home, Lisa had the courage to open the curtains. And sure enough, the man was still standing there, to see if he was really looking at her. She raised her hand and said hello, but the shadow on the other side of the building didn't react. Maybe she was overthinking it. Lisa sighed with relief and felt a bit silly. But then the person on the other side of the building responded. Lisa was too scared to move, until her husband came home. She said the man on the other floor had just said hello to her. They immediately called the police. Lisa handed the police a photo. She said the man on the other side of the building should be him. The police said she'd go to the other side of the building to check. Her husband followed her. Lisa stayed at home and waited for the result, but the wait was very painful. She kept staring at the other side of the building. She waited until her husband came back. Lisa anxiously asked if it was the man from the supermarket, but her husband stammered that even if it was, it didn't mean anything. We all live in the same neighborhood. So what if someone else likes to look in the window? Besides, it's not unusual to meet people in supermarkets. Could it be that you're not used to being in a strange environment? Lisa didn't argue and locked herself in her room, but the next day she met the man on the street again. 
curiosity got the better of her and she began a full day of counterstalking, until she came to an eerie alley, at the end of the alley was a pub, it turned out that the man was the cleaner of the bar, and the neighbor just happens to be an employee, Lisa asked her neighbor if she was too sensitive, the neighbor said it's better for a girl to be sensitive, if your husband doesn't trust you, then you have to protect yourself, when she got home, Lisa put a stool against the door lock, it was the only way she could feel safe, but when she was about to go to sleep, someone suddenly put a pillowcase around her. Luckily, it was just a dream, but then the sound of a fierce fight came from the neighbor's house. Irina. Lisa rushed to knock on the neighbor's door. The neighbors were alerted. The landlord rushed over and opened the door, but only found the old lady's lost kitten and no sign of the neighbor's beautiful girl. But Lisa didn't give up looking for her neighbor. She went to the bar and asked if her neighbor had come to work. The barman said she was on holiday for a couple of days and wasn't sure. Then she found a tall man knocking on the neighbor's door. The man was the neighbor's boyfriend. He said they were supposed to go to a concert last night, but he hasn't shown up until now. Lisa asked the man for the neighbor's phone number and called him. The ringtone came from inside the house. The man thought his girlfriend didn't want to see him, so he turned around and left. Lisa immediately stopped the man. She asked him to take her to the opposite building to find out more. Soon they arrived at the stalker's place. Lisa watched from afar as the man knocked on the door, but after knocking for a long time, there was no answer. At that moment, the man answered the phone and said he had to leave. Lisa didn't give up. She asked him if he could try to help her again. The man cursed at the door in a very violent way. <laughs> but there was still no response from inside. After the man left, Lisa returned to knock on the door again. This time someone opened the door, but it was just an old man. Lisa had no choice but to go back. Coincidentally, while waiting for the lift, she met the stalker returning home. The woman didn't dare to breathe and pressed the lift. Before Lisa could catch her breath, the police came to her house. It turned out that the man on the other floor had called the police. He complained that Lisa had been harassing him. Not only was she watching his house from his window, but she also had someone threaten his father. The police thought it was just a misunderstanding. They told the two of them to apologize to each other. Lisa had no choice but to shake the man's hand, but the man seemed to be very strong. Lisa's hand was bruised, but her husband didn't say a word. He told her afterwards, the real serial killer has been caught. It's not what you think. Then he dragged Lisa to a promotion party. Everyone was talking about the news that the real killer had been caught, said her husband saw the murder scene today, 